Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video, and I'm just immediately continuing the next video right after the last one in this mini-series where I'm trying to familiarize myself with the XR2 Raven Star. In the last video, we got out to the moon, did a few mid-course corrections, got our lunar orbit insertion burn completed, did a little bit of last-minute uh, refinement with the off-base distance, and the last thing we did was our deorbit burn so that we can settle down onto uh, the landing pads of Brighton Beach. We will unfortunately be doing that when the sun is not shining, so it's going to be a little hard to see, but uh, we'll make it work. With all that said, let's go ahead and jump back into the video. Let me switch screens here. Alright, uh, some maintenance things that I can think of that I can handle right now while I'm thinking about it, so I don't forget to do it later. Uh, if we look at the outside of the XR2 as much as we can. Um, we have these hover engines on the bottom but they're but they're currently covered up. So one of the things we can do is I think it's control A for the APU. Yeah. And then hover engine or hover doors, I don't remember the shortcut. Is it control H? Nope. <laughs> that's alright, let me knock maybe it's alt H. No, that's that. Alright, right. Let me not guess. Let's just open the doors here. I wish there was mouse over tips. Like if you would just mouse over hover doors, it would tell you what the keyboard shortcut was. I'd probably get annoying at some point, but for now it would be convenient to have that. So the radiator is deployed. Uh, we don't care about the air brakes. We'll deal with the landing gear later. Hmm. Maybe we should put that down now. Let's put it down later and hopefully we don't forget. Retro doors are already open, so the ship is pretty well configured. We just have to remember to put down the landing gear at some point. All right, we're in the retrograde position, and that's what we want to be, because uh, when we do our main engine braking burn, um, we want to be able to use those powerful main engines. So let's uh, bring up ComNav and dial in the information for Brighton Beach. So base, it's way down here at the bottom for some reason, it's not alphabetical. And we'll do the long range transponder on nav one, like always. So that's going to be 116.30. And we'll do landing pad two because landing pad one has a, uh, a vessel located on it. So landing pad two has is one thirty two thirty. So forward and we're good. One thirty two thirty. Okay. So we'll close that out. And we will bring up VOR VTOL on that side. And let's bring back up base sync one more time on this side, because we will pass this point. Uh, target. Brighton Beach. So if we wanted to, when we get over here, we could do a little bit. We could bump the translation thrusters a little bit to try to bring down that off-base distance. But again, 500 meters is basically nothing. But as long as we're going to be there, we'll try to take care of it. Usually it tells me the up down. Why doesn't it not tell me? Mm -hmm. Anyway, we'll get to that point here. Time to the node. Just a few more seconds. And we're already wings level, so we're good there. Alright, so we're in linear translation, so it's the other direction. So just bring down that off base distance. And which way are the numbers going? The numbers are trending down, so we'll leave it right there at 36. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and roll the XR2 over onto its... So it's wings level with the surface. Alright. And we'll point the nose right there at the velocity vector. I'll go ahead and leave it on... Um, orbit moon for now. I will switch over to surface at some point. Alright. How's my heart rate? 
I am a bit nervous. All right, let's think here. So, hover doors are open. We still have to put down the landing gear. How far are we away from the base? So we got a ways to go. Let's go ahead and warp time forward. It's making me nervous hearing those call outs. So let's rotate wings level. So we're 4,000 meters above whatever mountain is below us. I really hope I don't start hearing 4,000, 35, 3, 2, crash. Because I don't, I haven't examined the surface of the moon in the new orbiter. Because in the old orbiter it was perfectly flat, which, you know, was uh, obviously not realistic. And this is more fun. I like having the terrain, but I'm not, I'm not used to it. So let's warp time forward. Uh oh. Three thousand. Four thousand. Okay. Wait, what's my altitude? Let me switch over to surface. Four thousand. Yeah, I guess it'd be good to have surface up. Three thousand. Oh man, look at that. Two thousand. Ugh. Okay, it's going back up. That is nerve-wracking. <laughs> that is absolutely nerve-wracking. To think, you know, that you set your altitude too low. Because I used to set my altitude really low because I'm like, I don't have to worry about hitting anything. So I used to set my altitude to like, you know, 500 meters above the surface for a Brighton Beach landing. But seeing that go down so fast is super scary. All right, let's warp time forward. 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 4,000. Okay, Brighton Beach is still a ways out. 4,000, 4,000. How's my heart rate? <laughs> Okay, we're 1,200 kilometers 4, 000, out. 3,000. 4,000. 3,000. 2,000. 600. 700. 700. 600. 400. Oh my god. I am like scraping the mountain peaks here. I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. I'm definitely gonna have to keep my altitude higher for a Brighton Beach landing. I feel like I feel like my hover doors probably just got ripped off. That got down to like 70 meters. I I saw 70 for sure. Three thousand. Three thousand. Well, the... Oh my gosh. Humiliation. You know what? That's the way it went. That's the way it happened. It's canon now. I'm not even gonna edit this video and pretend like that didn't happen. That totally mm -hmm. happened. All right, well, that was a learning experience, and I my goal for this video was to learn, and I learned. I, I don't know, I, I'm somewhere torn between annoyed and just, like, I find it hilarious at the same time. But obviously, that's going to end the mission. Um, I, I do kind of wish that the ship wouldn't just bounce around. I wish it would just, like... Uh, you know, it, it's destroyed and it stops where it hits and all that. <laughs> all right. That's obviously going to end this series. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll... Um, I, I can't read... I can't back up and redo this part. 
because I don't have a save file at any point, but uh, I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna repeat this mission, pick up from the ISS, and uh, repeat this mission, because um, I want I want to be able to land at Brighton Beach with the XRT Raven Star. If you liked my crash, please do hit that like button and leave a comment down below, commenting on uh, something about the crash. That way, I know you got to see this part. Thanks for watching, and let me go ahead and switch to the big overlay here. I will see you in the next video, if there is one.